hygroscopic. Uh, water is not soluble in gasoline. Uh, small amounts of water are, are soluble in ethylene gasoline blends. Is this the problem? You'll hear some people say it's a horrible problem. Uh, in my opinion, it's an advantage. But let's, uh, there's two videos here. You can just play them back to back, and I'll get out of the way. Start with that one over there. <laughs> okay, let's try this one over here. <laughs> Well, there you go. Uh, that was not a Hollywood production. I bet you couldn't tell that. But uh, I, I consider that a, a real benefit of, of ethanol and gasoline. Uh, some people don't. Uh, I think the people that don't, uh, the reason that the problem they would have with it, if you keep adding water over here, you eventually get to where you saturate it with water. If you add more water, then it all comes out of solution at one time. So you get a lot. But of course, if you were to add that much water over here, it would have been out of solution the whole time. Uh, so, you know, once again, I consider that an advantage, uh, and, and it's important that, uh, you know, that, that all of us you know, carry that message along with us because this is one of the most common complaints that you hear. So, uh, and we heard this earlier. Uh, you know, if, you, if you go look in the store and you see products on the shelf for getting water out of gasoline, and then uh, they won't say it on the product, and then if you go to their website and look at their material safety data sheet, which all these products are required to have, you'll find that they're alcohols. You know, so people are selling fuel treatments to solve what they're advertising as a problem with alcohol, but what they're selling you to cure it is more alcohol. Uh, it's an interesting little market there. So that amount that we had there, it can sit there. And, it wasn't, and, and if you were to take that then and put it in the engine and run it, it doesn't change the operating characteristics at all. No. Not unless you keep adding more. Yeah, so what will happen, if, for instance, if your lawnmower or something you're going to store over the winter, if you leave just a little bit in the gas tank, and then your, your gas tank, your, your fuel cap has a little hole in it. So as the uh, air heats up and cools down, specifically when it cools enough where it condenses, then each night you get a little bit of condensation, a little bit of condensation, and then over the course of the winter, then it'll be out of solution. You'll have water in your fuel, and you won't be able to. That would have happened if you had, it would have happened a lot sooner if you had gasoline in there. So that's not a problem that's unique to ethanol. That's a problem with storing something. That, yes. Yep. Another way for a simple thinker to look at that is mm -hmm. think about a bottle of vodka 
or that bottle of Everclear that Dr. Andy brought out, the, the alcohol content never leaves the water content in those bottles. It's just in solution. It's holding mm -hmm. it up. Mm -hmm. Same thing with a fuel. I mean, <coughs> fuel alcohol is 98% alcohol. It's very similar to that Everclear. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's just 3% less water. Mm -hmm. That's all yeah, the remaining of it, there's already water in there. 